foundation, the basis of our belief today. Okay. We're going back to the Old Testament. Just for a quick picture. And then we're going into the New Testament to show how this was lived. So in the Old Testament, you had a priest. Okay. He was the uh, intermediary between God and man. And then you had man, who in this case was a sinner. Okay. And then you had a little lamb. And so what would happen in the Old Testament, the old law, was that once a year, the sinner would have to go out and find the perfect lamb. So you can make sure she's perfect. It cannot be without spot or blemish. It cannot have spot or blemish. She's perfect. It can't be maimed. It can't be injured. It has to be whole. It has to be perfect. It has to be complete. And so the sinner takes the lamb to the priest. And when the priest gets to the lamb, he doesn't look at the sinner. He examines the lamb to see if it's without spot or blemish. And then he has the sinner put his hands on the lamb, which is representing that all the sin from the sinner is the lamb's blood. And at the same time, the righteousness and the innocence of the lamb is coming up from the sinner. And there's an exchange. And so as she moves her hand and she walks off, then the lamb is sacrificed. And it's representing that the sin had been removed, but only part-time temporarily for a year. Okay? That is a picture of the Old Testament, the Old Law. Okay? So, 